Hey guys, Chubbs here, back again with another Proteus level editing tutorial. And today I'm going to show you how you can go about changing the music in your map, as well as having control over the music. So, first of all, if you want to change the music that your map is currently playing, all you have to do is go up to Windows, Map Properties, and then scroll down until you see this field here that says Map Music File. Click Edit. And here is where you have to type the name of one of the game's music tracks. Now, you can find these music tracks in the game's directory, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to include a list of these tracks in the video description. That way you don't have to go digging. But I will also include the full path to the directory. And that way, if you want to go there yourself, you can check it out. And you can also go to the individual song directories and listen to the songs themselves to preview the songs that way you know how they sound before you use them but just as an example here the default uh, track or song is hotspot but there's also a track called decay so uh, before I change this I'm just gonna click cancel we're just gonna use hotspot we're gonna test it I'll let you guys hear that then we're gonna change it to decay so that you can hear the difference so here's the default song called hotspot Alright, so if you've made any maps with Proteus before, that song should sound pretty familiar. But let's go back to the map music file field, and let's change this to Decay, which is one of the track uh, files in the game's directory. So we'll type Decay, click Apply, and now let's listen to it. All right, so as you could hear, that definitely changed it to a totally different track, and that's just how easy it is to change the music in your maps. You just type the correct file name in here and click Apply, and that's it. Now, there is another aspect of playing music in your maps that's pretty important, and uh, some beginners might not realize that this feature exists. So, by default, whenever you spawn in a bunch of enemies and fight them, the music will automatically sort of kick up into another gear. And then, like, after you've killed all the enemies, after a, a certain amount of time has passed, it will sort of wind back down to the ambient version. But there's a way to also manually have control over, uh, like, which uh, version of the, the track is playing or sort of like what the tempo is. So, to change that, you can go up to the Asset Browser. So, I'm going to click assets asset browser and then we're going to double click the function category and then we're going to scroll down until we see music control so I'm just going to drag music control in then I'm going to bring it up a little bit and what I'm going to do as you can see we have three buttons here I'm going to make it so that these buttons change uh, like the tempo or the intensity of the of the current track and in this case our current music track is decay so when you're looking at this music control object you can see these uh, three uh, inputs down here uh, you have like a music note and then it has one and there's one that says two and then there's another that says three those are like the levels of intensity uh, one is like the ambient track two is sort of like a, a basic combat track and then three is like the highest intensity. That's when you're uh, like in a really intense battle, lots of enemies around, so on and so forth. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that these buttons change to each of those intensities. Now, I also want to show you guys something here. If we double click this music control object, you can see that you have some options here. And these are pretty important. The first one, which is force music level, basically means that no matter what, even if the situation isn't appropriate for like the current intensity, it's going to go to that intensity anyways. The second one, which says hold music level, basically means that if that is checked, then the track, the track that you've chosen to play, or I should say the intensity level that you've chosen to play, will remain in effect even if it's not appropriate. So let's say, for example, that you tell it to go to intensity 3, which is like the super high intensity. That's like, that's expected for like a, a huge battle. Well, 
if you've checked hold music level, that means that that intensity will remain in place even if there aren't any enemies around for a long time. It will just continue to play like that really intense music. So for now, we're just going to leave both of those checked, but I just wanted to let you know what each of those does. So with both of these checked, what this means is that if we switch to each track, it's going to force it to go to that track, and it's just going to hold it at that level. So I'm just going to go to each of our buttons. I'm going to go to the first button here, and I'm going to say when we press it, go to the first level of intensity, which is like the ambient track. I'm going to go to our second button. We're going to say activate the second level of intensity, which is like a basic combat. And then the third button, we're going to say go to the highest level of intensity. And let's go ahead and let's just play this, and let's see what it does. I'm going to start by flipping the second switch, uh, then we'll go to the last switch, which is, which is super high intensity. Then we'll go back down to the first switch to bring it back to the ambient track. So here we go. Alright, so it's just that easy. So by triggering one of these inputs, you can change the intensity of the current track. So that's mostly it for controlling your music. Now, there is one other thing I wanted to show you guys. You might want to use this at some point during your levels. Uh, if you go up to Function, there is an Audio Fade object that you can place. And this does pretty much what it says. So I'm going to drag it in. And if we bring up its properties, you can see that it can fade your music out as well as sound effects. We're just, we're just going to make it uh, fade the music. So I'm just going to uncheck. And you can see we have a fade in time and a fade out time. I'm going to change these to be a little larger than one. I'm pretty sure these are in seconds. So let's say that we're going to do a fade out over three seconds. And a, a fade in over three seconds. So they're both three. So uh, I've set up a trigger here that's in this sort of red area. And so what I want us to have this do is when we enter this trigger, we fade the music out. And then when we leave this trigger and go back like into this sort of gray zone, the music comes back in. So I'm going to move this over here. The placement of this is really unimportant, but I just want to have it like it's near the center. So we're going to go to our trigger. We're going to say when you enter it, we're going to do a toggle. And that means it will... Uh, that means it should toggle the music so it fades out. And then when we leave, we also want it to toggle. And so that, that setup should make it so that if you enter this zone, it will fade out. And then when we leave, it will come back in. So let's try that and let's just make sure it works. So as you can see, when we sort of entered this red area, the music faded out. And then since we had it set to a toggle, when we left, it just went right back to where it, it faded it back in to be playing at full volume. So that's it. That's how you go about changing the music, controlling the tempo, and if you like, fading it in and out. So hope this video has helped you guys out. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Thank you all for watching. This is Chubbs signing out.